hey you what is going on youtube it is jabark triple seven in today's video we'll be basically taking a look at the latest version of nova launcher and the latest version is currently 7.0.36 and basically this is the version that i have installed it is quite smooth and basically easy to use so yeah let's take a look at what this application has in store now as you can see nova launcher 7.0.36 right here so that is basically the version which I'm currently using. So how to set up this application? There are quite a few settings here. And if you've been using Nova Launcher for quite some time, this is, or this should be a breeze for you to set up. Um, as you can see, this is the swipe up option for the applications or the drawer to access. So I'm going to show you guys how to configure this to have a more beautiful look. So let's launch Nova settings again. And as you can see, we have different basically tabs or options here. We have the home screen, which we could configure the desktop grid to show how the icons are basically displayed. I normally reduce my icon size to around less than 100%. So sometimes around 85, 90. I like to see the icons being smaller and I'll enable all of these color, shadow, single line and all of that. And I'll also leave the icon labels on. Okay, so just giving it a few tweaks here and there. So let me go back. And as you can see, we have the corner here, which displays how curved you want it to look. So basically, you could use 10 dp to display the corner of the application um, images, icons, search bar placement, widget, search bar style which is basically the Google search bar, which is displayed on the home screen. We could customize that as well. We could use voice search, Google Assistant, and also allow all of these other options here. We could also allow the app drawer in that, and we could have an option which would basically lead you to the Google Play Store. You could add multiple things to this. As you can see, Nova Launcher 7 has quite a lot of features in it. Basically, you could leave the color. I'm going to leave that one for a second. I'm going to leave it with the shaded frame. The bar color you could change. So let's see. Let's change it to AMOLED or full black. So let's do just that. And let's see how that looks. Let's go back. And basically enabling infinite scroll will allow you to basically scroll through the apps effortlessly on your home screen. So let's go back. That's basically the few customizations that you would do to the home screen. You could add widgets and all of that to your home screen. So now let's go to App Drawer and see what we have here. Now we have the swipe up option, which is the one which I typically prefer. Now most of you prefer to add the the App Drawer icon on your home screen, but I'd prefer to use the swipe up and leave my home screen clean. And let's turn off swipe up indicator. That's basically the up arrow, which is pointed above the center of the home screen. Let me show you guys. So basically the swipe up indicator would be this arrow right here. As you can see that that is the swipe up indicator. So let's go back to settings and app jar. And now we could set the custom grid. So normally I would leave mine at five, five by four, because 20 apps being displayed is quite a decent amount and yeah that's basically it and i'd normally add a little background transparency so i would add around 15 percent background transparency and yeah that's basically what i would do the search bar placement we could remove the search bar from the we don't really need the search bar tab bar we don't need any of that frequently used app we don't need that as well uh fast scrolling let's use infinite scroll automatically close and remember position so basically those are the options which i typically check whenever i'm using nova launcher now for the folders i don't have or i don't create folders on my nova launcher so i don't really mess around with that search neither do i mess around with that that's basically cool to have okay so do not track what is typed okay you could enable private keyboard so that it does not keep a record of what you type which is pretty cool. Now the look and feel is basically the how the icons will 
be shaped. As you can see, we could basically set these in any format which we want. Re reshape legacy icons. So basically get every icon to fit into this squircle, as they would call it. And yeah, so basically that is the few settings that you would change. Icon theme, you could get more theme or theme packs and install those in your Nova Launcher and use those. Screen orientation default, so that would basically follow whatever the system is. Um, so those are the few changes which I would make in the look and feel. Now the night mode, you could enable night mode or disable that. So basically that is what I typically enable. Dark themed is what I prefer. Gesture and inputs, you could basically set specific options if you had the prime version of Nova Launcher. And the prime version is pretty easy to get. Integrations, there aren't any integrations on this version of Nova Launcher which we're using. Okay, so basically those are the changes which you'd make to Nova Launcher to have it looking smooth and clean. And there is a few things or one more thing which I did not change. Let me go back and let's change the scroll to horizontal. That is how I prefer to scroll. Okay, so basically that's it. There aren't any changes which I would need to make. So as you can see, we have our infinite scroll and all of that. So basically that is a look into Nova Launcher 7. You could set widgets and all of that just by going here, long press. And as you can see, we have the widgets, Nova 7. You could add the search bar activity and all of that. So I hope this tutorial was informative and helpful to you guys in setting up Nova Launcher 7 or the latest version of Nova Launcher because I believe the next version will be Nova Launcher 8 and it won't be much different from this version. So basically you could use this as a guide into setting up the latest version of Nova Launcher. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, leave a comment down below. Let me know if it worked. Thank you guys for watching. Hackership.